ISO FileMaker Magazine, the professional's resource for FileMaker know-how. Well, hello there, and welcome back to yet another FileMaker tutorial video where we are going to learn more about what you can do in FileMaker Pro. My name is Matt Petrowski, bringing you these tutorials from my website, FileMakerMagazine.com. This is the first of my top five tips for modern FileMaker layout design interaction, basically just working with layout mode. So let's head to my desktop and take a look at the file. All right, thank you for joining me here on my desktop and there is no file. And that is because my first tip that deals with anything with regards to layout, working in layouts, uh, working in FileMaker is to become familiar with the new feature of open quickly. So as I use Command K or Control K on Windows, what we're going to have is I have no files open. And the great thing about this particular feature in FileMaker is it allows you to jump anywhere, no matter where you are in FileMaker. Now for us, uh, I should say for myself as an older time FileMaker, when this came about, I was used to a particular tool that I use called Launch Bar, which I'll hit right now. So when I hit a uh, command and a space bar, I can assign a key. This tool comes up and it allows me to type in things such as FileMaker Pro, where I can jump to FileMaker Pro, any of the previous versions that I have right there as I cycle using arrow keys. Now, this is a very convenient thing for a lot of different features, but when we're in FileMaker Pro, we have the same functionality. That's open quickly with the uh, command or control K. Now, when it comes in right here, we do have this option right here, current file. Many times this is really good to set because you're typically focused just on the file that you're working on. If you're using the data separation model or you are jumping between files, then you can leave this uh, unchecked if you want to. Now, first off, I said there are no files that are open, but there was a file that I was working on, and uh, I believe it's a CRM solution right there. So we can see that as I zoom in right there, I've had multiple CRM solutions open. I've had one open in my templates from iSolutions. I've had one open again from iSolutions. That's who released the templates. But I also have one on at my documents location. So as I arrow down to that, the first thing about Open Quickly that's really nice is it allows you to get into your file. You really, all you have to do is have FileMaker open. Once it's open, maybe you have the recents, but hitting Command or Control K is a great way to just simply open to the file. Now, after that, it's simply a matter of going to the layout you want. Now, as a older time FileMaker developer, as I bring up the manage layouts in this solution, I'm very familiar with this particular dialog and you may be familiar as well. In fact, I love this dialog being able to manage the layouts because I can go and I can select any number of layouts and then I can click on the open button and it will open all of those layouts. That is one of the things that I am very used to doing if I'm going to work on multiple things. Now, if you like to keep things clean, what becomes really important now is our prefixing. If you use an intelligent prefixing, or if you start to go through all of your scripts and renaming, open quickly becomes immensely valuable. So if we take a look at this, all I have to do is remember that I use the word dev as a prefix, or this file did, and I can simply just type in dev. Now what we can see is that it jumps me to all of my different uh, layouts right here, all of the same layouts that I saw. And there's a really cool trick that you can hold down the option key. Notice the icon changes. When I hold down the option, it means that a new window is going to open up. So let's go through this sequence really quickly. I will close that as if nothing was open in I open FileMaker and I just type CRM. I go to my solution. I say I was working on a developer layout. That was the contacts. Actually, no, what I was working on is I was working on the contacts. And I'll so you find yourself asking the question, where should you host your FileMaker solution? Well, one of those dots right there. That's what I would pick. Now, they didn't come to me. I went to them. And I trust fmcloud.fm with all of my data. They are using the latest tech. In fact, did you know, Claris is actually, in some instances, releasing features first and only for Linux. What does fmcloud.fm use? They use Linux. On top of that, they use containerization. And if you've not heard about containerization, then you will be. It's one of the best ways to host your FileMaker solution. I highly suggest that you check out 
fncloud.fm. And I'll put in the contacts. I'll go to the details. But I also was working on list view. And I'll open up the contacts. And I'll go to the list view. Holding the option, you can see how quickly I'm able to not only open the file, but get multiple windows open to get to the layout that I want to work on and be there really quick. Now, Open Quickly doesn't stop right there. You are also able to use Open Quickly to jump to other places regardless of your context. Now, in FileMaker, when I'm in layout mode, and on this layout, if I go into Define Database, this is going to jump automatically to the Contacts table because the contacts table is the context for this current layout. If I am on this layout, and we notice that I have a field right here, and it is subject. If I want to jump to the table to work with that field, there's multiple ways that you can do this in FileMaker. Um, first, I could switch my context right here. If I know, if I take a look with uh, subject selected right here, if I go over to this area, and I noticed that it is from interactions coming from that particular table. I, of course, can go over here and mouse switch to interactions. And I can access the subject now, which happens to be uh, a little bit hidden. Let's see if I can get this to zoom. There we go. Right there is the subject. Now, if I wanted to make modifications to this field, I can right click and, well, if you're in the same context, you have these options right here. So if I was in the context of this table, I would be able to edit this field. But because I cannot, what happens is open quickly becomes really nice. Here on the layout, all I have to do is make note of the word itself of the field. So if I simply use open quickly and type in subject, look at how quickly it automatically jumps to that particular field for that particular table. And lo and behold, when I hit return with that selected, it jumps me not into the context of the contacts, but into the co uh, context of the interactions with the field even selected right there, ready for me to make modifications. Now, all of these little things save time. They make you faster and they make you better. And it doesn't just stop with that. It also applies to your scripts as well. So my tip for this particular video is spend just a few minutes not developing, but instead exploring the Open Quickly feature and just give yourself little tasks, things that you can think about of how quickly can I get to this script or this script and this step? How quickly can I get to this field and edit and change its auto enter features? How many times can I switch between all of the windows and organize them as quickly as I need. And as a final tip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with this one right here. Don't forget that we have these really nice window functions right here of tile horizontally, tile vertically, cascading, bring all to front. Most importantly, these two right here. And when a window is hidden, it does not apply these two in particular, or actually all four of these, do not apply to hidden windows. So if in this scenario I was working with uh, wanting to see organizations and contacts, and I wanted to see both the list and the form view, I can simply just put in organizations and uh, open the uh, organizations. We'll open the list view, and then we'll open the organizations, and we'll open the detail view, and then I'll quickly go up to the window. I'll tile horizontally. I've got all four of them right here. Any one of them that I want to see, I can actually just do the uh, zoom, which would be that right there. That is a, a, combina a key combination of Command, Option, and Z in order to zoom that particular window. And then I would just be able to do any one of them in order to get back what I want. Otherwise, I can just simply select tile horizontally again, take a look at what I'm working with. And of course, if I wanted to go all the way down to just one window and zoom that, of course, I can just simply move between all of the different uh, layouts. So if I want to go back to the contacts and I want to go to the details, there we go. And if I want to go to list, I could just type in list and try to hit, you know, whichever one fits. Using your words and your prefix is really important. And one final tip 
as I zoom this into place. For some reason, the open quickly is quite particular. If I go into the defined database and I look for, say, for example, a field in a different table, let's go to organizations. Um, actually, uh, staff, was it interactions where I was working with it? I forget what it was. Uh, date, date versus dates. Let's take that as an example. If I type in date, notice that nothing is coming up. If I hit S, as soon as I hit dates, so in other words, a portion of this word dates with an S did not come up when I had the uh, simple version, the non-plural version of just date. So get familiar with that as well. If you need to change your wording, go ahead and change your wording on your scripts and your fields so that open quickly becomes uh, a much better tool to use to jump to where you want to go. As always, I'd like to wish you much luck with your own FileMaker development. If you'd like more tips, tricks, and information about developing in FileMaker, please visit FileMakerMagazine.com. We hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial, and we'd like to say thank you for your subscription and your support. If you're not already a subscriber, head on over to www.FileMakerMagazine.com slash subscribe for more information about the benefits of joining.